All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. This morning, we were we we're splitting some wood. It was, it's really nice. We got out at 6 in the morning. We got a lot of, a lot of wood split, about $500 worth. So that's going to be good. 1026R, she's still working good. So what the plan is, it's finally it's finally fall, and we're just getting about to leaf clean up. And I had a customer, I had a customer who wanted me to come in. So that's what we're going to do. We have our first official leaf cleanup. I actually set it up last night, so it was ready to go. Didn't have to do anything. Got her all strapped down. So this is the new zero turn. I got so it's an off-brand mower off brand bagger i bought it used on facebook and i think it's a pretty good deal so we got loaded up on my favorite trailer i love to pull these these are like the perfect size trailers for kind of what we need so i'm trying to think like when we unload i think i'll actually just put it in the back of the pickup truck and then unload it from there it shouldn't it shouldn't fill up the pickup truck that much because it'll be like shredded little pieces and it'll be pretty easy to compact so that's kind of the plan let's get going this morning i gotta show you guys the leaves on the trees are beautiful and usually i don't start it this early i don't start leaf cleanup but i think the person is having some sort of outdoor party and they wanted all the leaves gone so typically uh it's tough but probably it depends on winds too the windier it is the more the leaves fall or like the quicker they fall so that's kind of up in the air but about two to two to three weeks from now we'll start big old leaf cleanups but this one like i said they want to have i think i don't know they said some site i think some outdoor football party that they were going to have a bunch of friends over and they didn't want to do it inside obviously so they had them outside and they don't want to you know make it look terrible or anything so that's our job and i get to make sure everything's running honestly i would almost do this for free to make sure that the mower's running good and my whole system is just it's just good a good way of doing it so we're heading into town now i gotta stop get some coffee still a bit tired even though i split some wood this morning usually when i'm split splitting what I, I don't need coffee man it just wakes me up makes me feel good but look at that guys it looks beautiful it's autumn time that's my that's my second second favorite time of the year is autumn fall but then probably first is first is winter when snow comes around but it is pretty cool to see the leaves changing and stuff but hands down i prefer winter let me know what your guys favorite season of the year is i'm a big snow guy i love playing in the snow doing things snow snowmobiling snowboarding really fun but i, I do like fall as well it's really cool so i'm gonna stop here these guys got I, i'm gonna try their coffee usually i go to dill boys donuts but i'm gonna quickly run and get a coffee because i'm kind of taking up everything i was trying to figure out a good place to park but all right got my coffee and we're good to go i think after i do this client i'll actually head over to grandma's house and do her lawn too just because i know she she's pretty particular so thought i might as well go see her get some cookies and i can take care of her lawn it's pretty small and i haven't seen it in a while i, I want to kind of see how how it's doing and I think the house is right up here. All right, there we go. Let's get untrapped here. And this is the property. I'll show you real quick. Here she is. So not too bad. This corner really doesn't have any leaves because this tree got taken down. I remember cleaning this up and they said they didn't want me to take down the stump. So they said they actually wanted me to leave it like this because they were going to do some sort of carving. I think they said they were going to do hire somebody to do wood carving. They still haven't. My idea was it yeah uh, wood carving is pretty good idea maybe you can make a bird feeder out of it somehow but otherwise in my opinion just get rid of it and so not not too bad there are quite a bit of leaves that fell off that red tree there usually that goes a bit quicker here's some birches those are already dropping quite a bit so we just got to clean them up it won't be too bad and that house still has some oh my okay i wonder if somebody lives there or if it's if it's a rental or something because they still haven't cleaned up their stuff honestly when i'm done here i'm gonna go put a flyer on the door telling them that hey i could take care of it especially you would want it do you have any curse it's still on the house and you'd want that done before winter what are they doing a lot of times they probably can't afford me and they, they would go with somebody somebody a bit cheaper but if they need it gone or who knows the situation with the house the bank could own it i i have no idea but there we go here is the mower i love the bagger it's gonna be really easy it unloads on itself so i want to figure out a system that i can uh i can kind of like figure that out where i can back into and unload but i wonder there isn't there aren't that much leaves the grass isn't crazy to all so i wonder how many times we're gonna have to unload we'll kind of see here all right let's unfold her we'll lower down the deck perfect it's kind of cool this hose from here to here is like very flexible so you could see when i lowered it that it went with it that's kind of nice let's fire her up there we go she's running good all right so i i got it started and i in and I drove just a little bit, took off the parking brake and started the PTO. And then all of a sudden the mower shut off. Now this is a, I haven't ran it that much. I did, when I bought it from the guy on Facebook, I did like run it and stuff, but it, it was having trouble. So I had to, I, I had to run back to the shop, get spark plugs. I thought it was maybe that. And then I tinker with a few more things and I think I got it running. Let's see if it starts here. I got it running earlier and then I want to see if it starts again. All right, there we go. I think it's going to take the parking brake out. Okay, we're good. All right, drop the deck. 
Okay, we're good there. All right, there we go. Blade start. And then I actually need to turn on the bagger too. All right, that's going. All right, and we're good. Okay, the bagger's working good. Okay, perfect. Want to make sure there's no leaks or anything. All right, it's picking up leaves just fine. And this grass is actually a lot taller than I thought. So it's good we're getting to it. And it, it, it wasn't too well maintained, so... There we go. The only thing about a bagger is I should probably be wearing a mask with all the dust. Because usually, in, in people who mow, or if you've ever blown a bunch of leaves, you know that at the end of the day, just like a lot of dust like this especially, all of a sudden your nose, like you can't breathe out of your nose, and it's just filled with that dust. And it just makes big, well, I mean, you guys know what I mean. There, there's, a, there's a lot of bats in the cave, so it's already full. I need to go ahead and unload it. It's a lot more full than I thought, but like I said, this grass is... Or it got a lot more fuller than I thought. The grass is pretty pretty tall, so it's going to take a bit to get it unloaded here. And I actually had a had a small cardboard box that I accidentally bagged. Or like I hit, it chewed up and went to the back. So I need to... I think I'm going to fill this up a lot more. So I need to go get the other truck and probably the dump trailer because this is, this is quite a bit. All right, there we go. Getting in the back of the dump trailer. That wasn't too bad. I was a little nervous, but you just have... Okay, we're going to... Oh, no. We're getting a bit squirrel. <laughs> it's never good. Sometimes I freak out when I get in tight spaces with the zero turn because it's like any little move I can go shooting anywhere. But all right, let's unload this sucker. All right, there we go. We got unloaded and we're back on track. So hopefully we don't fill up that fast again. That was a pretty thick part of the lawn, but who knows? We might, we might. It's uh, it's a 62 or it's a 72 inch deck. So that's pretty big for the bagger, uh, for like any bagger, let alone this one that's actually attached to the mower a lot you see that they like pull behind the mower and those are humongous i think they call them cyclone i think they're yeah they're called cyclone rakes so those those are way bigger than this but this works really good because you it it doesn't take that much to unload it and it's pretty hands-free you just kind of back up and it works nice so there we go keep going that's what happens when the bag gets full it doesn't it discharges like it would normal mode so i need to turn this a nice thing that I forget about a bagger is you don't really have to worry about like where you, where you discharge. So like a lot of times I got to be careful that, hey, I am not pointing towards this window, like this little basement window, because if I catch a rock or anything that uh, has got some weight to it, she's going right through the window. So I, yeah, that's kind of nice. But, um, and the baggers that are, there's some baggers that are like on the side where you would normally discharge. This one's on the back, so that makes it super, super simple. And bagging does take a while, but it's such a cool result. In the end, it looks great, and you only have to do it like one or two times. For these guys, I'll probably have to do it twice. Like I said, they're doing it early, so there's quite a bit more leaves still on the trees. But that's all right. That's that's all good. So we'll keep going here, and we're already we're already full again. That's literally how quick we fill up. But I think we're about a quarter, almost halfway done with this. So we'll get unloaded here. All right, there we go. We got unloaded. This is my third third uh what would third bag i guess you could you would call it Let's knock around off around this tree and then like i said i'm, I'm heading over to grandma's i texted her she doesn't really ever look at her phone so i'll probably just knock on the door and she'll let me in and it's beautiful it's a beautiful fall day i think there's football later on tonight so that's gonna be good and we're staying busy with the fall cleanups which is my favorite the only thing i don't like about fall cleanups is when it starts to rain because then the leaves aren't any fun and they just it, it's a lot more work it's a lot heavier too when you're unloading the bagger but this one i don't have to touch but there's just a risk of breakdown so all right we got this side of the house left and we should be good to go this is exciting i'm super happy we got pretty we got really dusty so that's one thing I need to pay attention to is the air filter. It, the, air, the air filter is going to get clogged up pretty quick. So I kind of knew that was the case, but I'll, I'll see how this is. Some models are made really good where you don't have to change it too often or at least clean it out, blow it out, whatever. Um, but some are. So it just depends how it's made. It's used, whatever. Not a big deal. But the bag will work great. I want to see a lawn that is is not as thick and then a lawn that has way more leaves. Just to see kind of how it does, how it does mulching it and stuff. So we should be good to go. One more little pass up against the house and we should be good. Almost might even just get the weeder out for it. There we go. She looks good up against the tank here. And there we go, guys. We are good. We're going to get loaded back up, head back to the shop. I think I got to have lunch. It's about 11 we already split some wood this morning and then i think i need to change the oil on two of our zero turns that we're going to winterize get them out of here i don't i won't need them i have enough for any mulching jobs that people don't want bags so that'll be good to go all right let's get her strapped down and we should be good we got one up there and then if there we go perfect 
Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Thank you all so much for watching. And let me know in the comment section, what's your favorite time of the year? What season, I guess, is your favorite? So thank you guys. Peace out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah.